Well, hundreds of students at Pennsylvania's Perkyoman Valley School stage a walkout over the district's gender-neutral bathroom policy. The district allowing boys to use girls' bathrooms and vice versa, depending on how they identified. Joining us now to discuss, Project 21 member Donna Jackson and Newsmax contributor Deneen Borelli. All right, Donna, I'm going to start with you. Uh, this is not usually the type of story we hear, but here we have these kids in Pennsylvania, about 30 miles miles away from where I grew up saying, you know what, no, we don't want these woke policies. We don't want to mix genders in the bathroom. It's not fair, particularly to the young girls to be using bathrooms with 17 and 18 year old men. Your reaction? You know what? It's a shame, but what you have is students that feel like they're being pressed to be able to, to have to protect each other because nobody's listening. Young kids always, they'll tell each other fears that they have that they won't share with anyone else. And right now, the parents are being attacked when they say that they don't want these kind of policies. But you have siblings, brothers, sisters that want to protect their siblings, that know that they're afraid to use bathrooms and to see something that they feel is inappropriate. Young girls automatically have more insecurities and they have more fears. And I think to put them in a situation where they feel extremely uncomfortable, where they have to see body parts that they're not mature enough to handle or don't want to, is, is a travesty. And it's a shame that it's taking other students to stand up for, for it. I mean, mm -hmm. I have a young daughter that won't go to the bathroom to change her clothes after gym because she's afraid that a boy might come in the bathroom. This is something that I'm hearing from young children everywhere. And the fact that these people are letting one small group destroy the comfort and mentally hurt young girls uh -huh. and destroy what it means for them to be female we as a nation should be ashamed. Yeah, that's a great point. The small group um, destroying really uh, everyday simple things like going to the bathroom at school for so many. Uh, Deneen, uh, Perkyoman Valley has about 5,000 students in the district. And again, a handful of people who identify as trans are changing the rules for everybody, but the superintendent said that she stands behind her decision because that according to a specific article she, she cited, uh, that uh, gender identity is a project, uh, those, oh, sorry, those who have specific gender identity focuses actually are a protected category. Uh, what about just simply protecting your students? No, you're absolutely right. And look, uh, it's unfortunate that these students had to take these these kinds of steps and actions. But we need more of this. Uh, this is outrageous, and it's and it's about protecting our female youth and and our females in general. Males do not belong in female sports, locker rooms, showers, changing rooms, bathrooms. They just do not belong there. And I applaud these students for doing so because it's, it sounds like it was very risky up for them, but their main concern should be trying to learn so that they can be productive citizens in the future. Uh, you know, and you mentioned uh, sports, men in sports, boys in women's sports, and we recently had Riley Gaines on just a few minutes ago, and she said, you know what, it's actually not hard to speak out and say that biology is biology, but for some reason it's the reaction that you get that is incredibly difficult to deal with. So we're going to leave it there. Donna Jackson, Deneen Borelli, thanks for being with us on The Other View. Thank you. Thanks.